All right, welcome back, guys, to another session of jujitsu. So this day, oh yeah, I was trying to do the um, right there. I, was <laughs> I totally put myself in a bad position, but I was trying to do the arm lock right there. Oh, yeah, the um, the posture is wrong for that move. But uh, yeah, so this day. I think I only did like two rounds this day and um, I only recorded the one yeah I don't record all my uh, all my uh, rolls oh yeah that was a nice sprawl I was trying to um, sweep him by grabbing his knee right there oh that was he did a nice sweep <clears throat> But yeah, I only recorded this one round, but um, I did record a round of two other people <laughs> rolling. <laughs> so um, yeah, the next round will be them. But anyways, back to this match. Um, ah yeah, I got his arm, or I'm trying to do an arm bar, but his elbow is out, so that's not going to finish. I should try to get my leg back over his head. Alright, so he has side control, I guess. I, I, I'm not sure where his left knee is. Um, yeah, I'm not sure what I'm trying to do, but oh, nice. He got me with the bow and arrow choke. Um, so I... I learned to escape for that like very recently actually like up to that point I didn't know what to do against bow and arrow chokes so if anyone ever got that grip uh, it was pretty much over for me but um uh, I still uh, it still doesn't occur to me to break their grip you, you can actually there's there's a timing where you could break their grip um, the, the grip of the bow and arrow choke. <clears throat> okay, so he has a knee shield. Uh, I'm trying right here. Oh, okay, I decide to do that instead. Oh, okay, got. Um, it's not exactly a knee shield, but oh yeah, that was a nice technical stand up. But he gave up his back. Uh, getting some tips from the coach here. Okay, I should hook. I should hook my legs. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, I think yeah. It's really usually more important to hook the bottom leg than the top one. <clears throat> because if you only hook the top one, I think they could roll over and face you. Um, I'm trying to do. I don't know if I got a hold of his... No, I didn't have a hold of his lapel. I was trying to do a triangle. I'm still trying to do a triangle here. But he has my leg trapped. My left leg. Um, okay, I freed it now. But... Oh, no. I, I hooked my leg on the wrong side. <laughs> and I, I, sh I gotta switch the legs. Right? I don't think that's the right side or the correct side. Yeah, that is that's definitely not the right side. Okay, so I realized it here and I switched it. <clears throat> um, but yeah, my angle is bad, and he's um, using a lot of strength to posture up. I'm trying to keep. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, if he's going to do that, I should go for the... Okay, got him with the arm bar that time. Yeah, the last time I couldn't get him, but got him this time. <clears throat> okay, I think... Oh, it's a perfect timing at the end of the round. Okay, yeah, this is the round that I'm not included in. <laughs> it's the coach versus... Uh, the opponent that I, I just had. 
Okay, so, yeah, I mean, obviously, I don't know what they're thinking here, but he had a double X, now he has a... Um, I have no idea. Oh, okay, he's setting up a knee bar. <clears throat> I think this week we were we were working on um, knee bars or knee bar setups. Oh, we got him with something. It didn't look like a knee bar. I don't know what that was. <clears throat> okay. Let's see what happens here. He has both. Okay, he's trying to do a rolling back take. There it is. <clears throat> Man, the coach is really good at that. Whenever I do rolling back take uh, or rolling back attack, I'm like way too low on their body. And I think that's the nature of the move. I think everybody ends up a little low on, on their body, but... What I noticed the coach doing is that he's adjusting his body higher um, like during the transition rather than like getting there and then trying to adjust their body. Okay, <clears throat> so the coach has top position here, staying heavy. Oh, nice. That was very nice. Um, but, he, yeah, his leg is exposed. <clears throat> oh, shit. <laughs> oh. Belly down knee bar. <laughs> yeah, I really enjoyed learning from this coach. Um, it's someone I knew personally before I went to Vietnam. Matter of fact, I'm not sure if I mentioned this, but <clears throat> the first time, the first jujitsu class I ever took was at at the gym where the coach was at. I think at the time he was a purple belt. He might have been a brown belt already at that time. It was like actually, yeah, it was it was a uh, that was many years ago. So yeah, small world. Go to a different country, and now he's a business uh, business owner and the coach. But yeah, I enjoy um, learning from him because we have a very similar body type. We're like smaller guys, so uh, so it's uh, very informative to learn from him. Is how it's interesting how he could stay heavy. <clears throat> Even though we're about the same weight, there's like techniques to being heavy for sure. Okay. Let's see what he does here. Okay, he has the spider guard. He has good control of his sleeves. Okay, technical stand up. Oh, nice. <clears throat> I'm not sure what that's called, but it looked kind of like some kind of variation of an ankle pick. Okay, he wasn't able to get the knee bar there. Man, knee bars are way more of a precise move than I thought. Because you need their knee facing you, like almost exactly. If they slightly turn it, like the knee bar is gone. Okay, so he does have a body triangle, but <clears throat> there, oh, he let go of the body triangle. They're hand fighting now, trying to get that choke. Uh, but yeah, he's pretty high up on his body. Uh, there goes the end of the round. Alright, yeah, short session. I will see you guys next time.